My name is Jessa Waters, and I am the collection manager for herpetology at the Sam Noble Museum, which is part of the University of Oklahoma. Herpetology is the study of reptiles and amphibians, and the word, um, the root word H-E-R-P means, is like a Latin word for a thing that crawls. That's where the name originally comes from. But reptiles and amphibians actually have very different biologies and are not very closely related at all, but they've been lumped together historically for so long that nobody's bothered to separate them. <laughs> when I was a child, I really was very obsessed with turtles, I guess. And I had turtles as pets, and I would constantly go out to ponds looking for turtles. And I just thought, the turtles were cool in general, and then when I was more like in high school, I discovered that there was a, such a thing as herpetology and that I could be a turtle biologist if I felt like it. I ended up not sticking with turtles for very long, but it's what got me into herpetology specifically, and probably biology as well, that I always liked animals as a child. Yeah. I love science because you are learning something new all of the time. Every single day, something will happen that you didn't know before, and I think that that is one of the few fields where that is really a constant occurrence. Whenever I, I assist with some of the educational programming at the museum, that you ask a child, like, what does a scientist do? And they instantly, they go for the lab coat, and they say that we're mixing potions, which I find hysterical, because that's not even remotely related, and all that kind of stuff. And so telling them, like, all the different ways to be a scientist, and that I'm just this one kind of scientist, but there's so many other avenues, and to make maybe help open their eyes up about that, I think with the kids is a really big part of it, is that they have this lab coat mentality of science, and that's actually a pretty much a pretty small percentage of what scientists do.